Alright guys, let's get a reading in. I'm trying to get a few done for right now. I know I missed a couple days. I've been not feeling very well and spending some time with my boyfriend and his family. So let's try to put up readings here. And I have a new channel called The Sacred Star. Trying to, some of those are loading right now. So we have an emperor and the person that they're dealing with. Now the emperor does not have to be the um, the male. It, it's just the emperor. It's it's the energy of the person who is doing the person who is going after what they want, you know. And here we've got the ten of the ten of skulls, followed by the wand and the emperor. And the emperor is literally holding someone's heart in their hand. The emperor has someone's, the emperor has a love. This emperor is in love with someone. They have a 10 of cups with somebody, but the snake is kissing the lips of this emperor and it is destroying this relationship and it there is a possibility that this emperor may lose their ten of cups and this ten of cups may come to completion because they were dealing with somebody else over here who was more materialistic who only judged this person by what by this emperor who only judge this emperor by what they could give to them, by what they could supply them. So this person has stayed hanging on to this emperor, expecting them to return back to them and give them financially what it is that they need. They're keeping this emperor on hold and keeping hold of their energy so that they didn't move on. But here we've got the completion in the middle of what goes on here. The completion. You have the world twice. Once in the emperor's energy and once in the energy of the divine. You don't have it over here. This person wants to keep someone stuck or wants to block somebody's actual ability to move on. Because they know that there is monetary a bit, there's some there's an ability to gain monetarily okay so here we go down here into the current energy the current energy we have the hierophant the four of grails and the three of scepters so the hierophant this is someone who is coming the masculine energy is not here there's a wolf in its place. But this person has a blue rose or a purple, blue, blue, blue rose. They have laid down and their person has not shown up because this is literally coming before and listening. to your intuition, to what spirit is trying to say. But this emperor wasn't looking at what they should do because they wanted to keep one hand on the past. See here, he's got one hand on the future and the person and 
what's going on then. They have the person's heart of the future, but he's still holding on to the one of the past. Out of the three scepters, he's holding on to the one of the past. He's got two cups here and the star and the star energy. The lovers is a choice and the nine of skulls, but he has these two cups here. And these two cups are normally supposed to be pouring into each other. Pouring in to, sorry, not pouring into each other, pouring in to the two different areas, you know, the water and of the land, the emotions and of the stability. But it isn't. This is pouring on to something that is coming to life and something that is dying. He's pouring out his cups and literally wasting this second cup because he's watering dead roses. He's, see, let me show you. He's watering or he's bleeding over these dead roses. Here, here was, he can make them grow, but the others, it's pointless. There's no point in him wasting all of that. They're dead. Something has completed. Something has completed. And now it's his choice. Is he going to lie? He could literally be lying. But is he going to lie with someone else? Or is he going to know his worth? Because someone who knows their worth doesn't need all these extra they don't need a bunch of people to stroke their ego because this Ten of Cups person that they have, they could be pouring all of that out onto the Ten of Cups and then the Ten of Cups could be pouring back into them, but they've hurt their Ten of Cups. They've hurt their true love because they let, they kiss the snake. They entertained a snake. Because this person here, the Ten of Cups, this was divinely guided to them to be their wish fulfillment, the wish upon a star that they were supposed to have. And this was supposed to lead to marriage. It was supposed to be their true and ultimate love. Ten of Cups, Star, Hierophant, Four of Scepters, which is the Four of Wands, the 1111 Twin Flame card. But you had the snake appear and it made this person not want to take a full look and see this true cup that they had here because they were tempted with the choice of another lover and it, it made them realize, you know, that they would have to fight for themselves. They'd have to stand up for themselves. But the emperor won't do that. The emperor says, my way or the highway. If you want to fight me, if you want to make it difficult, I'll just go to the other person. I'll go to this other person of the past because this is too hard, because this is not what I wanted. I want things to be my way or the highway. Yeah, I hold your heart. Yeah, you gave me your heart. But I have the ability to do with that heart with whatever I want to do. So I can give my heart to someone else. Someone of the past. Someone who doesn't care what I do as long as I come and I bring them abundance. And it's going to cause somebody have to stand in their nine of cups energy they're gonna have to find their self-love and fight for their selves what we have over here we have this person who is stuck and keeping not they're not stuck they are in the energy of I want this masculine's money 
I want this want I want what this masculine can offer me. I want the masculine that goes to work and I can stay home. But he doesn't realize that I'm juggling him too. He doesn't realize that I know how to play these two against each other. This is what they're this third side chick is saying. He doesn't realize that I know how to manipulate things. He doesn't realize that once I get him, I'm going to reach for something else that I don't have. That's what this energy here in the current energy says. I'm going to I'm going to keep him stagnant and then I'm going to juggle him. And I'm going to reach for someone else. And whichever way supplies me with the most amount of money, I'm going to go towards that one. I'm going to set sail towards the one that will give me the most money and the most stability. It's nothing about love with this person. It's nothing with love in this person. They don't have a single cup card here. This person has absolutely no love for this masculine. None. Zero. That's why it's easier with this person. It will be easier with this person because this person does not love this masculine. This masculine could try to offer this person his heart, and maybe he has in the past, but this feminine doesn't give a shit about his heart. She wants his money. If she wanted his heart, she would have cups anywhere in this side over here. Anywhere in this side over here. But she doesn't. She has no cups. She literally has swords, which is, you know, using her thoughts and the way that she wants to manipulate things. She has coins so that she can get the money that she needs. And she has this ace of wand, her sexuality, the, the sexual nature that she can offer this person in return. So this person this person thinks they're going to ride off to whoever will give this person the most stability, the most money. Because, but this person, this person believes that once she got, gets this masculine stuck, she can control him because it'll be all about her demands for his money. Because this, ma this feminine believes that she can just reach out and hold him, but not hold him too tightly because she wants to play with him to see if she can sway him away from uh, this other energy, this true love. And she's going to use this, her ace of wands to tempt this masculine The Knight of Pentacles in this deck particularly means, see, they're not on a horse. They're not going nowhere. Literally, this person is going nowhere. This person has no desire, no drive to do anything with their life. They want to live off of someone else. But this person at the same time it's like kind of like pick your struggle bitch because this person here will listen to nobody it's about their demand and they will be they will be stuck by the demands of money they literally they won't listen to nobody they won't hear what nobody says this person could also have an addiction that keeps them stuck and they need someone who's gonna supply them with money so they can keep entertaining this addiction and the only thing that this person has to offer is their sexuality. Here's the thing. We don't stay old, we don't stay young and sexy and beautiful forever. None of us do. And one day in the future this wand is not going to be as sexy as the young ones anymore. And here's the thing. 
final outcome for this person is the tower. They can use this lust, but how long will that last? Because this card means that this tower will crumble and it will be overran by the wolves. And I keep hearing that song, keep the wolves away. So eventually this person will have to do something else to keep, keep the wolves away. In other words, they'll have to do one thing or another to pay their bills because right now this person could be a prostitute. I'm not, no judgments, uh, you know, that this person could literally sell their body for money to keep the wolves away, to keep the bills paid. The energy here in the center of what Spirit's saying is going on is there was a completion. There was supposed to be a completion, but we got the Queen of Cups in reverse. Someone was not listening to their energy. And when the Queen of Cups is in reverse, literally, this is a bitch. <laughs> Excuse my language, but this is a bitch. And they're button heads with this emperor. This is someone who has no love. That's pretty sad that in coming into this, in between these two energies, the only cup card that came in between these two is in the reverse. It's talking about like lack of emotion, lack of love. And so this emperor is starting to realize they had somebody there. They had their true counterpart. Someone who loved them. Someone who actually loved them. Someone who mirrored them. Someone who would have been there for them through thick and thin. They've known this person a long time and now they're realizing it and they want to run towards their Ten of Cups because they've realized that this Ten of Cups was their true person, their Two of Cups, their relationship that would lead to the fulfillment. Will it end that way? I don't know. But this person now realizes they can't hold two. Because something new is coming into fruition. This partner wants more. This partner wants to move this relationship forward. But they won't move it to the Four of Wands, the marriage card, especially with the Hierophant if they are stuck looking like this. Because he's hurt her so bad, she's turned her back towards him. He's hurt her so bad, she's turned her back. Because she can't look upon this snake energy and what he's done to her. She can't face it. It hurts her too much. Because he kissed the lips or the body of another woman. Because look at these cards here. Or he's... He, he doesn't even actually have to do it in like the three the three D world because these are technically vampires and they're not really alive. But they, it could just be online. He could have fall temptation of the snake and wanting to fall into bed and then going after her. His Two of Cups was the person he's in a relationship with and he doesn't realize it because he put her in competition. He put his Empress in competition. 
He made her feel like she was not his only. That when she walked away, that he would put, he would talk to other women. Maybe even sex them at night when he was in his bed. He would talk about love, about sex. It could be, it's either, we have a dark haired woman, we have a redhead, and we have a blonde. And the blonde could be younger. I don't know, I'm getting the blonde could be younger, I don't know. But this rose is bleeding. This love is bleeding. Because he's gave to another that which belonged to the Ten of Cups. That rose belonged to the Ten of Cups to the star energy to the person that he was meant to be with he took this rose from this woman could be dark haired and gave it to this woman and possibly this woman and they were hers to begin with they were supposed to be hers and see, here's where the theory where people think, oh, wrong way. Where people think, you know, tarot said, the tarot card said, you know, this is my person. So I don't got to worry about it no more. Now I can just go off and play because if this is truly my person, they'll still be here. Here's the thing. You can manifest your person, yes, but I'm gonna tell you right now, the way that you manifest it and the way that you keep it is not by just being like, okay, I finally got my person, now I can go off and do whatever I want. I'm gonna tell you right now, I feel, I feel this energy a lot because I was really young when I got married. And, you know, like that joke where they say, you know, you get married and then five minutes later, everything changes. And they're like, now I can finally be who I truly am. Like, I literally heard the words come out of my partner, my ex-husband's mouth. He said, I only acted that way so that I could get you. Now that I've got you and we're married, I don't have to act that way no more. And that's what I kind of feel like was going on here. This person realized, hey, yes, this is my true person. This is the one that was divinely guided to me. And I've hurt them repeatedly. And I have broken their heart and I have, they have told me that I'm hurting them by putting them in competition or even just making them feel like I'm putting them in competition. But it doesn't matter because this is my true person. And I'm going to tell you right now, that's not the way spirit works. Spirit will work, will give you what it is that you want. But if you don't water that grass, if you let one of his children, where is it? Become like the dead roses. Because they were flowers, you can't pour blood on them and bring them back to life. You needed to water them while they were alive. You can't give your blood for it. Yep. This person is no will no longer be their star that they obtain because they put this person in competition. This is your warning, guys. This is the warning. It will come to a completion. If you put your empress in competition, she will no longer be the star. She will no longer be your wish fulfillment. She will no longer be the star that you wished upon. The one that you prayed for. 
the one that you yearn for, the one that you wanted a forever with. She'll be the opposite. And the bad thing is, is that this person will feel like justice failed her. Man, this hurts. And it will kill this empress when they have to walk away. The empress will walk away because justice was not given to her. There was not an equal give and take because someone put her in competition. This is your warning. If you are the emperor in this story, no judgments. We all make mistakes, but this is your warning. This is your person. This is the person you're supposed to be with. You need to decide and decipher which one is your 10 of cups and which one is this one over here that wanted you for money. Which is this queen of pentacles that only wanted you for your money? And which one is your 10 of cups? Before this happens, because this is your warning. These are, are bright because spirit is trying to light this, to illuminate this to you. You will turn, you will lose this star. If you put her in competition, there will be an ending. Because the wheel of fortune will have turned because justice was not served right to this empress there was not an equal give and take and an empress will not stay where she does not feel valued why because she has nine of cups the empress knows her worth and what someone is giving her is not her justice that's not what she deserves and she will be told turn around and go the other way stop Leave these eight of cups. Leave these eight of cups. And I will open another two of cups for you. One that will lead this empress to something more. Instead of where she feels like she can't build. Where she feels like she can't be feminine. Where she feels like she can't be a feminine. Because the Empress in reverse will destroy her. Because this person will have successfully went after their Seven of Cups. And the Empress will find out. And that's what I have for you guys. And we're going to stop right here on this harsh kind of messed up energy because this is sad if this is your energy if you are the masculine listen listen because your intuition is in reverse this is spirit say listen when you are given the call you must pay attention you can't look away. You can't start a fight with your feminine and then go to someone else. You can't have two. You can't have someone at home who loves you and go after someone who just wants you for money. I don't even understand this because this is like someone's going to give someone love. But they're going to go to someone else who just demands money. Because the emperor doesn't realize it's love that empowers and blossoms these roses to bloom because it helps create the high vibe. When you go high vibe, that's when you're able to manifest your entire world. And they, they made their empress feel like they weren't worthy 
for anything than to bow at the feet of somebody else and to give up And the Empress is a star. She's not allowed to be in that energy. So when the star becomes reversed because she's put in competition, Spirit says it's time for you to com to have completion, for you to have what it is that you deserve. Everything you deserve the world, but to get it, to get this justice that you're actually supposed to have for you to become the empress that you are supposed to have, you're going to have to walk away from this person who put you in competition because you are not meant to be looking at the ground. See both of these, they're facing the ground. You are not meant to be facing the ground. You're meant to have your head held high and you can't, you can't base your worth off of someone else's ability or inability to see how much you're worth. Because sometimes people have karmic, karmic lessons or karmic trials, karmic tests to see if they pass them, to see if they can level up, to see if they are worthy of the abundance that they have been praying for and asking for. And sometimes people fail and this person failed. They failed the test. They gave into temptation and they hurt their empress. And it doesn't have to be a, a when I say female and male energies, it does not mean man and woman. It's just whoever is standing in that energy. The, the empress is the one who nurtures, who tries to flourish something, who you know, is pregnant with all of these things that they could create. And the masculine energy is the one who's supposed to go forward and do. The feminine energy is supposed to be the one who stays and receives and creates. It's kind of like in the old days, you know, where men went to go hunt and they would bring that kill to the empress. And then it was the Empress's job to take that food, that animal, and to turn it into something that they could use to sustain their life, to sustain their bodies, and to help further this life along. But somebody was too busy bleeding on dead roses or watering dead roses. And the Empress is hurt. And the Empress is not supposed to be in the mode of the hangman because this person over here will have successfully succeeded, have successfully, literally succeeded in keeping this Empress upside down. This person over here will have succeeded and they will have won if you don't listen. So this is the call, masculine, masculine energy. Your queen, your queen of cups and your empress are in reverse. You need to turn them both around. You need to turn them both around. Because that's your empress. This person could have a choice of multiple women, but only one is their empress. Only one is their empress. That's what I have for you guys. Um, kind of hope this resonates with nobody, but I know it will because I feel it. Um, so here's your warning. Now, go. 
The Empress may like to be upside down at some points to become the Empress <laughs> during fun times, but she does not want to be upside down all the time. You only turn her upside down for a fun time, not for a long time. And whatever you do, do not, do not, do not run and talk to somebody else outside of this relationship, especially if you work with this person. Uh, and don't play around with someone that you work with. Because again, as I've said many times, if you mess around with somebody at work, you're going to get them pregnant, then you're really screwed. Then you're really screwed. Especially if you still have these other people. Just saying, I just heard it. That's only for a few. It's not for everybody. I'm just saying, don't try to run towards somebody that you think might just be fun and playful. Someone who's young and won't hold you down and won't put restrictions on you. Now that person will end up destroying you worse than you dealing with the problems because eventually those problems will come up with that next person because someone can only be playful and fun and look beautiful like those red roses as long as they're being watered. The second you stop watering them and you start entertaining another connection like you did with these other ones, you're going to hurt them too and they're going to be more I'm going to tell you karma's a bitch karma is a bitch and when you hurt that many women that many ladies that many of God's creation karma's going to come back and that shit's going to bite you in the ass just the same the tables will turn and karma will be at your door and you will be the one who suffers the way that others have suffered at your hands. So make sure you are doing right by your Ten of Cups. Fuck everybody else. Not literally. Don't fuck anybody else. But literally say no. Get in the Swords of Inner Sword, the Queen of Swords energy, and say nope. Fuck off because this is my person. I know that this person has the ability to lead to my long-term marriage, commitment, divinely guided love, everything that I wished for. I just have to get through some hard times first. Like every single relationship. No good relationship ever comes without a little bit of hardship, a lot of bit of a little bit of trials and a whole lot of love and a whole lot of compromise. And the only one on this whole thing that looked like it was any kind of love was your Ten of Cups. Because even the lover's card means a choice. And that's what I have for you guys. As always, stay weird. Bye.